May we live long and though miles apart, together we share the beauty of the moon. The Mid-Autumn Festival, a traditional Chinese holiday, falls on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month each year. Also known as the Moon Festival and the Reunion Festival, the Mid-Autumn Festival's origin is closely connected to the moon. The festival traces its roots to ancient celestial worship, evolving from the autumn moon worship rituals of early times. Moon worship was a ritual in which people in ancient China honored the moon goddess. Since ancient times, the Mid-Autumn Festival has been tied with traditional customs like moon worship, moon gazing, eating moon cakes, viewing lanterns, and admiring Osmanthus flowers. The most famous among the many myths and legends is the story of Chang'e flying to the moon. Hao Yi, the hero who shot down nine suns, obtained an elixir of immortality from the Queen Mother of the West. Hao Yi's apprentice, Feng Meng, attempted to steal the elixir. In desperation, Chang e, Hao Yi's wife, swallowed it to stop him, causing her to ascend to the heavens. Since then, she lived in the Moon Palace, accompanied only by a jade rabbit. The story of Chang'e symbolizes Chinese people's centuries-old dreams and romantic imagination. Throughout the ages, our curiosity and exploration of the moon have never ceased. What exactly is on the moon? In 2004, China officially launched its lunar exploration program. Scientists gave the project a romantic name, the Chang'e Project, and the first lunar rover was named Yutu. In 2007, Chang'e 1 embarked on its journey to the moon, becoming China's first lunar satellite to orbit the moon. In 2010, Chang'e 2 was successfully launched, providing a 7-meter resolution stereo image of the entire moon. In 2013, Chang'e 3 made a soft landing on the moon, with the Yutu rover taking its first steps on the lunar surface. In 2019, Chang'e 4 successfully landed on the far side of the moon. In 2020, Chang'e 5 returned to Earth with 1,731 grams of lunar samples. In 2024, Chang'e 6 returned with lunar soil, marking the world's first sample return mission from the far side of the moon. The upcoming Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 will pave the way for China to land humans on the moon by 2030. The journey is long and challenging, with about 380,000 kilometers between Earth and the moon. From flying to the moon to landing on the moon, the descendants of China, who grew up listening to the beautiful legend of Chang'e, are now witnessing the transformation of myth into reality.